Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome to a quick video update about iOS 9.2.1, iOS 9.3, the jailbreak, when's it coming out, what should you do, should you upgrade, should you downgrade? I'm going to give you guys my opinion in this video as a real simple face-to-face -face kind of video. I don't know, I felt it'd be simplest to do it this way. Uh, but anyways, um, my opinion on what you should do. If you're on iOS 9.2.1, just stay there. If it comes out for if the jailbreak comes out for 9.3 in a couple of weeks, just update to 9.3 and jailbreak. Uh, this way, if it for some reason happens to come out for 9.2.1, you're ready to go and you can jailbreak. For those of you that are on iOS 9.3 and one of the beta versions or the official release, um, you can downgrade at this point. You can still downgrade. Uh, Apple is allowing it, but it's going to be a small window. It's not going to be you know forever. So. If you guys want to downgrade to 9.2.1, uh, you know, go ahead. I'll leave a video link down in the description of how to do that. Um, but what's my opinion on the jailbreak? Is it going to come out for 9.2.1? Is it going to come out for 9.3? Well, my opinion is the jailbreak will be released for 9.3. And the reason why I say this is because the 9.3 firmware is pretty much the end game of iOS 9. At this point, Apple's going to shift all of their focus uh, over to iOS 10 and getting the beta version ready for WWDC 2016, which will be this summer. So they're not really focusing on iOS 9 at this point anymore, really. That's why they had so many beta versions. That's why um, they just really fine-tuned iOS 9.3 to be pretty much perfect is because they don't want to touch it anymore. They need to focus on iOS 10. Uh, so I strongly think that the jailbreak will come for 9.3. Also, if we go about a year ago uh, to iOS 8.4, which was pretty much the last version of iOS 8, which was the same time of year right now, right after uh, their spring kind of event, um, pretty much two weeks after 8.4 was released, I believe it was uh, Taiji, they released their jailbreak utility for 8.4. Uh, and then a couple of weeks later, there was a uh, an update and it was iOS 8.4.1. I think, don't quote me on this, I'm just trying to go off of memory, but I think that was the last version of iOS 8 and all it did was patch the jailbreak. So, like I said, if history re repeats itself, which it usually does, uh, 9.3 is going to be the version that's going to be jailbroken. Uh, that way, everybody can update and everybody can jailbreak all at the same time. Uh, for those of you wondering, you know, what version of iOS am I on? I am still on 9.0.2 and I'm still jailbroken just because I really depend on a jailbreak and I absolutely love a jailbreak. I can't live without my device being jailbroken so I always try to stay on a jailbreakable firmware until a new one's released so that's what I'm on for all of you that were wondering. Uh, but like I said, if you guys are on 9.2.1, just stay there for now until more information is released. If you guys are on iOS 9.3, you can either just stay there or if you really want to be 100% safe on it, downgrade to 9.2.1 just in case, you know, for some reason the jailbreak comes out for that firmware. But I think we should all be good. I think that the jailbreak's going to come out for 9.3 in a couple of weeks and then we can all update to 9.3 and we can all jailbreak our devices again. Uh, but anyways, this is a quick opinion video and kind of a jailbreak update for iOS 9.3. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, Definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more jailbreak videos in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.